this will maybe sound more negative than I mean it to, but I feel like so much um, of the culture in Silicon Valley is, you know, there's sort of these like, you know, tag phrases that we have around things like, I mean, uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of minimum viable product. Um, I remember when I interviewed Joe Gebbia, co-founder of, of Airbnb for the book, um, kind of just riffing with him. We were at an offsite um, somewhere up in Marin and and uh, riffing with him on this concept of um, what I talk about in the book is the minimum awesome product. Um, you know, he thinks about products as the first time you use a product as kind of a first date. And if you were kind of to finish your first date and you're like, hey, how was the date? And she said, uh, oh, it was, that was minimally viable. You'd be like, that sucked. <laughs> like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I guess we're done. It doesn't work. And so I think we fall prey to these sort of, you know, tagline, meme kind of product things and I mean, even, you know, so much of, um, you know, kind of design thinking, I think, has sort of been shortcut or shorthanded into things that are kind of maybe easy to describe. Um, and so I don't think we I don't think we really understand them as deeply. But I'd say that probably the one that I think became so clear to me in the process of writing the book uh, and is probably sort of obvious now in retrospect, but was sort of this concept of product market fit as this sort of static thing. And I think in the Valley, we talk about it like. It's like a level in a game. To be yeah, honest. it's exactly. It's like a level. <laughs> uh, you you get it as soon as you get it. You like then you kind of you know triple your marketing budget, and you double down on your ad spend, and and you, it's like you found it you know between the couch cushions, and um and it's not that. It is very dynamic, and I think it gets back to your you know the conversation we were having around how how to reinvent yourself, how to sort of think through those kind of founding moments, and I the way I think about product market fit is. It is a liquid. It's not a solid. And what I mean by that is, look, achieving product market fit is it's a great thing, right? A lot of companies never get there, but but it's a transitory achievement. Um, it's 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 a false summit. And that's because, like, you know, competitive landscape changes. Your customers end up wanting more. The technology shifts and it enables new features and functionality. And so the goal really is not to achieve product market fit, but rather to achieve um, kind of a drumbeat of regular and repeated product market fits. And I think companies who do that well are the ones uh, that stick around for decades. And it's really, really hard to do. And and um, I don't remember kind of, I guess it was Joe as well, sort of in, the, in a different conversation, but, you know, they think about an Airbnb around sort of building not the machine, but the machine that builds the machine. And so I think you've got to kind of get meta or fractally rent around these things oftentimes to sort of see uh, how to do that at, at kind of the process level. But that that probably was one that, you know, I'd say sort of challenges uh, conventional wisdom around product design and what it means to sort of be successful or build a successful company. 